Okay, sorry about that little pause uh, now that my battery is back online. So, just to finish, um, why did it all happen? Uh, highly unequal income. When you push all the money to the top, the top 1%, they have more money than they can spend, so it goes into investment, what they call investment, which is actually speculation. Uh, the, I mean, the middle class and the working class don't have money to invest and don't have money to spend. So actually the unequal distribution of money in an economy is very bad economically. Um, the, uh, in, this, in 1929, the top 5% received 25%. Income. By 1948, top 5% had less than 20%. Well, that comes back to what we were talking about of fiscal policy. Fiscal policy decides the distribution of wealth in a country. It's as simple as that. The workers too poor to buy goods. If you come back to, to Keynes, how, well, this is from Marx, but Keynes understands the same thing. Keynes' solution with the New Deal suggested to Roosevelt employ people, give them security. Giving them money doesn't work. They'll put it under their pillows. Give them a job and security. They can plan, they can spend money buying a house, buying furniture, uh, etc. Et so if, you, if you're a, a factory owner and you want to keep the salaries down, the trouble is that your workers are consumers and they can't consume because they haven't got enough money. The rich are too rich to spend everything, spare cash to invest, but speculation is more profitable than investing in industry. In the old days, if you go back to the Industrial Revolution, investment was in creating factories, creating textiles, creating tools, creating steel, creating all sorts of things through infrastructure, through building, through machines. But now, where is speculation? Speculation is no longer in building factories. Uh, it's in, uh, fin I don't even know what they do, it's, it's, it's in financial um, uh, operations uh, without knowing what the final, there's no product at the end of it. Uh, low interest rates, low interest stimulate the poor to use credit and consume, so this was very typical in the years of uh, Bush where they devalued the dollar, they didn't want to increase salaries, so they reduced the interest rate, which reduced the value of the dollar, go back to lesson two, um, and that means people buy on credit. Nowadays, look at the television adverts, uh, you want to buy a car? It doesn't tell you how much the car costs, this is brand new, now it tells you how much it will cost you each month without showing you too clearly how much it will cost you for your down payment. But this is buying on credit because people don't have the money to buy a car outright as they did just a few years ago. Uh, the low interest rate stimulates the rich to borrow and speculate. If you're rich and the interest rates are low, you're not going to invest in the bank because the interest rates are low. You borrow money to invest in, for example, uh, building uh, holiday homes and uh, investment, holiday parks in Portugal, uh, second houses in Ireland, uh, etc. Bad banking structure, um, independent banks, lack of regulations, the leverage is too high. We are floating in a world of high speculation, very vulnerable world to an economic uh, crash. And um, how do we resolve the problem? Well, I think the New Deal, uh, as I say, um, I'll try and fit this in somewhere in our module on European economics, because the New Deal is very interesting at how the USA came out of the Great Depression and how they enormously uh, uh, improved their infrastructure, their, their buildings, their hospitals, their schools, their roads, their airports, their railways, their railway lines. It was, it was an amazing investment which brought the USA out of the